Wow. What is up, everybody? Nat here. And you just missed it. I was in the middle of making a video. And uh, I just, like, dropped my phone all the way on the ground. So I'm holding it right up here, a little bit taller than my head. You can see I'm on an angle. And I just dropped it straight down there. Um, taller than me. And just slides, turns, and then it just flat lands on this case and the reason the case is off is because I was going to show you all the cracks and scratches I have in it so I just deleted that, uh, deleted that video and then when I was taking my case off I accidentally hit the power button and it stopped the video and I was like you know what I don't want to bother with getting those different apps and I can put my video together you know I probably will later before I can start um, using the camera more oh my arm hurts so bad okay I'm just saying all right I was playing Wii yesterday. Oh, and if you can't hear it right now, I'm playing Super Mario Bros. Speaking of Wii, um, but I was playing boxing and, you know, tennis and baseball. And I remember when I was boxing, it just went like that. And it, like, pulled something in my arm. And it hurt really bad, but yet I, you know, didn't think about it or anything. I was just like, eh, whatever. It's not the first time. Well, today it's really stiff, really sore, and... My arm is killing me while I'm holding my phone right now. Just to videotape this, I'm going to switch to my left hand. Um, and then, when I was filming Worldcraft yesterday, I don't, it doesn't have anything to do with Wii Sports, I think, I don't think, because there's, an, I don't think boxing, I mean, I guess like pulling like that, going along with the pull, could have pulled from my back too. Um, but all along, from right here, all the way down to the ba bottom of my back, really sore so all right mario you're getting very annoying you know what i'm not gonna play you i'm not gonna play you. i am sorry we you were getting annoying i don't like that music it's kind of interesting turn up turn off we turn off we turn off we turn off we there you go okay in austin and alley apparently Um, but like I was, like I was saying, been sore all day, still sore, and it's the last day of break, um, which I just find it really weird how, you know, we had two weeks, or like, you know, two weeks, so then five, plus five, ten, then we had three different weekends, that's six days, sixteen days off of school, and for some reason, on this very Monday, they decided that, you know what, we're not going to let them go back to school on Monday. You know, it's, we'll just make it a teacher preparation day for, um, in preparation for us to come back. I'm like, why do you need to take Monday off? And, you know, if we just start Monday and then you have a nice smooth week instead of starting on a Tuesday. But I guess it makes the school week shorter for us, so I won't complain. But, like, my, my thing is, you know, we had all of that time, two weeks, two weeks and two separate days, 16 days in all. And why wouldn't you just take a preparation day over the other days, over the weekend, yesterday? Nope, 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 nope. Monday seemed to be the day. Do you guys get annoyed when I walk around this much? I'm, I'm just asking you. Why is my phone taking so many pictures? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, dang it, I switched to my arm, right arm again. My goodness. Switch. It hurts so bad. I'm not worried tomorrow. Um, I'm okay with, you know, I've had so many, like, I've had so many injuries through playing soccer for a couple of years and playing softball. See, I'm 12 now, and I think I played softball for nine years. I was like seven years straight, and then the other two. No, I think it was eight years straight, and then another was a ninth. So, um, like a master at softball. But I took a break. I'm still, I haven't gone back on softball. You know, I'm not really scared of softball. It's just, now that we're using the hard balls, if you get hit with one, it really hurts. And now that we're in a bigger league, you know, and, but we're still kids, there's more of a chance to get nailed with, nailed somewhere in your body 
with one of these balls. And I've already got nailed with them before. I remember the first ever softball game when we were using the new hard balls where they seem like they're completely hollow. Like if you bounce them, they feel completely hollow. And they're really hard, not soft at all. Soft, the actual softballs, or like the the starter softballs are actually softballs, but the the real softballs are really hard, and um, they can hurt. But I remember the first game we were using, it was the first game of the season, using the hard balls. First inning, my first time up to bat. First, um, first swing, you know, because three strikes are out. So my very first swing... The pl pitcher was a brand new pitcher, it seemed like, and I switched to my right arm again. What a coink -a dink I have no idea why that was a coincidence. But I remember she, like, she threw the ball and, like, ran in which way and got nailed in the shin with that hard ball. And if you know, shins are... I'm sensitive, so... And I was younger, so I was just like... Aah. No, I, I didn't burst out in tears. I probably cried a little. I don't know, but still. Um, what, why, <laughs> what made me start talking about so softball? Soccer. But when I played soccer, man, I was one of the best players on that team. Probably in the top five best players on that team. Um, no, I was the best goalie. And my legs, my right leg and my right arm are insanely strong. Like, you throw me a ball and I hit it with my bat, that ball will go flying. Um, if you have me throw a ball, any type of ball, that ball will go far. And that ball will be hard and fast because, well, hard because it's fast. And you roll me a ball or I punt a ball, man, that ball will go flying off my foot. Like, when I punt a ball, I can kick it like all the way across the full soccer field and I've kicked so many balls okay so at my elementary school old elementary school Kent well because now I'm in middle school but at Kent we have a really tall gym on the outside it's really tall like you look up <laughs> and you know because I wanted to show off how high I could kick a soccer ball and a bouncy ball and all that good stuff and so I would I kick it right over the roof, and I never saw those balls again. Actually, I got to see one of them again when one of them got retrieved and put back into the fifth grade bin um, for fifth grade balls bucket, ball buckets. It came back completely flat, and people were like, where'd this go? And then why is it back, and why is it flat? I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Close, stop making all that noise outside. But yes, I remember I got really upset because I had a glow-in-the-dark soccer ball. Thought it was the coolest soccer ball in the world. Then I kicked it over the roof. Never saw my glow in the dark soccer ball again. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea where I was going with this. But, oh yeah, so I can tolerate, I can tolerate pain, you know. I have really strong limbs and stuff now, and, um, it'll take a lot. Even a kick in the shin. I can get a kick in the shin, I'm like, psh, whatever. So, I mean, yeah, it might sting, but it's just like... Whatever, I don't care. Boom! But, this video has been long about me talking about sports. Um, I didn't say it because I kept trying to make redo videos and then I never uploaded a video about it. But I went and saw Frozen this week. Best movie ever. Um, I'd say it's in my top five all-time favorite movies out there. And it's definitely my number one animated movie, favorite animated movie of all time. It's an amazing movie. Best movie ever. Um, I love it so much. So much. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it right now, as soon as you can, because it's an amazing movie. You won't regret watching it. And Disney really outdid themselves. Like, like, um, you know, it's the Disney feel, but not. Like, it's, it's that it's that good. Um, it doesn't matter if you're young or old, just go see it because even adults out there are saying, okay, this is clearly one of my favorite movies now. One of the best movies. It's an amazing movie. And then you have to see it. That's adults saying it. And you'd think a cartoon is, or an animated movie is a kid movie. Well, guess not. 
Um. Shh. My house is making noises. Um. But yes, go see it. Um. Also, this week, what did I do? I played Wii like <laughs> almost the entire day. Yesterday? Well, not the entire day, but I played for a while. Um, really fun. Um, yeah. And Friday was one of the best days of my life. Um, I volunteered at the North, Tex North Texas Food Bank, and it it was amazing. I love I love volunteering. I love helping out people, and. Um, it was just an amazing experience. Because this video is long enough, I'm not going to talk about it right now. But I will make a video about my experience there. Um, maybe tomorrow. And I'll show you pictures. And that's, that's good. Um, Saturday it was, my brother goes to A&M. That's why I'm sure I just happened to be wearing this shirt. Um, and he's going back to school. Yesterday I think he went back to A&M for his, you know, break is done now, but on Saturday, um, his birthday was, um, in December, 25th, 25th, I think it was, no, that's Christmas, that's 27th, I think it was, I don't know, but 20-something, and, um, you know, obviously it's not December anymore, but on Saturday we decided, he came over, um, my mom failed to make a new recipe of meat. Worst sauce ever. There was canned orange juice with cinnamon and sugar. And it smelled so bad that I felt like it was going to kill me. Like, I did not want to walk in that kitchen. Let alone taste it. Um, I tasted a bite that big. I was like, ah, no, no. Um, but it went, it went in the oven so many times because apparently it just wasn't ready. And it was a failed, failed meal, but I just ate the um, couscous, it's a type of rice food, I don't know what, what do you call it, and I ate my broccoli, and I was like, and I drank my Sprite, and I was like, you know, I'm set, and then after that, we decided to make our own sundaes, um, we got ice cream, chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and sprinkles, and we just made our own little sundaes, and it was a fun night, so, yes, I love you guys, see you later. Gonna make a world craft video with Autumn in a little bit. I, you know, I don't think she knows that. But I'm gonna Skype her in a little bit. I should be reading. <laughs> Said I was gonna read today. I keep saying, you know what? I'll watch YouTube videos all morning, eat lunch, and then after lunch, I'll just read the rest of the time. So much for that. No, love you guys. Gonna go. See you tomorrow after school. Well, you might see me tonight from Worldcraft, but see you with some cool videos tomorrow, and yeah, love you guys, I'm gonna try, wait, I love watching Troy, if, if you don't watch Troy Savan, go subscribe to him, he's funny, I love his ending, he's like, he's like, bye, or bye, I don't know how to use his voice, but I love his wink, he's just like, I can't do it like that because I'm going to my cheeks up. Bye. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Love you guys. See you later. And I need to come up. I've got an intro for my new channel that I've been talking about. You know, this that I've showed you. It's like, because it's actually laying on my lip. If you didn't know, it's making it block. But I have my lip on the camera. Then I pull my face off and go, what's up? So here we go. What is up, everybody? So I thought that would be my intro, but I need an outro. I don't know what to do, because you have people that go, you know, um, Key and Lolly, he's like. <sighs> and Connor, friend, was like. Go, go. Actually, he made a new outro, because he's changing up his channel. He made a new outro, he's like. <laughs> Something like that. Um, Ricky, okay, guys, see ya later. Um. Then you know she and he's like, bye. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. In the comments below, tell me what I should do. And, yes. 
love you guys, see you later, and I think I'm just going to do this outro for this video. Do you like that? you like that? you like that? Ah, press the damn. Said so dang. The dang. It's because I'm Southern. I got, I'm from Texas. No, my little, my entire family, my entire family is from New York. Except for my, except for two cousins that were adopted. And then one of their kids, or, or their kids. <laughs> Whatever. But my entire family is from New York. I'm the only one who was born in Texas. So I'm the only one that's Southern in this family. So, love you guys. See you later. Bye!